Welcome. This is your third video. This is on linear functions and linear equations. We are going to define a linear equation and linear function. I'm using those two words together. And we're going to review slope, y-intercept, and we are going to graph using three, metho three methods. One is a table of three values, slope-intercept form, and using intercepts. Quite simply, Linear functions are functions um, that describe a straight line. Now, straight lines have a couple of characteristics. Uh, most lines have a slope. There is one particular line that does not have a slope. In fact, we say it's no slope. It has a slope, and it also will cross the y-axis and have a y-intercept. So all lines cross the y-axis, and they always cross it in one point, always, in one point. In fact, it can't. If you think about it, if it did in more than one point, it wouldn't be a line. It would look like that squiggly down here. Uh, we have slope. Um, in this direction is a positive slope. In this direction is a negative slope. This way, flat horizontally has a zero slope. Has a zero slope. It has a slope, you can walk on it. But a vertical line like this is not a function. And it has uh, no slope. You can write linear equations in different forms. The standard form of, of an equation looks like this. 3x plus 2y equals 10. Um, if you're writing using letters, ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are coefficients. Slope-intercept form looks like this. y equals 2x plus 3. Um, in general form, or, you know, writing with variables, this would be mx plus b. And uh, you can find the slope is m, and the y-intercept would be 0b. And so you could see there's 0, 3. So it's going to cross the y-axis at 3, and the slope is 2 over 1, rise over run. And then a reminder of point-slope. Point-slope comes from the slope formula. If you remember that slope is the change in y over the change in x, right? So two points on the line, and you can determine its slope. So point-slope looks like this. y e minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So y minus 2 equals negative 2x plus 1. That means that it has a slope of negative 2, and it passes through the point negative 1, 2. To graph a linear equation, um, we can do two methods. We can pick three points. So for instance, I'm going to pick um, 3 and 0, and negative 3. And the reason I'm doing that is because it has a fraction in it. So I have y equals 1 third plus 2. So if I put a 3 in here, this would be 1 third times 3 over 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. If I put a 0 in there, 1 third times 0 is just 0 plus 2. And if I put a negative 3 in here, I'm going to have negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So if I graph this using the blue, I'm going to count uh, 3, 3. So here's 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here's 1 point. 0, 2. And then negative 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, and 1. And then when I draw that line, uh, that was almost a straight line. Not bad for the screen. Okay, that shows me that I can pick 
different points. Now that can be kind of challenging sometimes, especially if you're not thinking about how the fractions go and you pick something like two and you end up with one and a half and da da da. So I just picked ones that I knew would work out, but sometimes that doesn't work very well. So instead, let's use slope intercept form. So I have y equals mx plus b, y equals one third x plus two, and I'm going to change colors to red when I graph it. So what this means is it has a y-intercept of 2, so I can see clearly from my points that I had found that already. And then the slope is 1 over 3, so that means rise 1, go to the right 3. So I go up 1, 1, 2, 3, look there, same two points. So when I graph this, my graph is going to line up right on top. I've used, it's the same line, I just used two different methods to graph. Now sometimes you're given a form in uh, standard, you're given a line in standard form, the ax plus by equals c, and that's awesome, but um, we have a hard time finding the slope uh, from that. We have a hard time finding the slope. So here's another method that you could use that's actually kind of easy, and I, I think you might like it. And what we're going to do is we're going to let x be 0, and then we're going to let y be 0, and we're going to find the intercepts, right? If you let x be 0, zero right, you're looking for the y-intercept. And if you let x be zero, or excuse me, y be 0, you're looking for the x-intercept, okay? So if I let x be 0, I would have 3 times 0 minus 5y equals 15. This is 0. Divide both sides by negative 5, and y equals 15 over negative 5, which is negative 3. Negative 3. Okay. Then if I let y be 0, this becomes 0, and I'm left with 3x equals 15, x equals 5. So those are two points. That's all I need to graph a line. You need two points to graph a line. You can determine slope, you can determine everything from two points. So I'm going to graph these, uh, I start at the center, this is the origin, and I'm going to go over 0 and down 3, 1, 2, 3. And on the other I'm going to go to the right 5 and up 0. And then I'm going to very carefully, I don't know if this is going to work or not, I'm going to draw a line. That's not bad really. There you go. Okay, these last two problems I want you to write down in your composition notebook. I want you to graph using the method indicated on this screen. The first one, use the intercept method. Go ahead and graph it, get what you need. And then the second one, use the slope intercept form method. Um, and I will check your notebooks when I see you in class. See you then.